Whereas in years gone by, it was not as easy to um, speculate about the budget because we would have thought that in those years things were not as hard as they are today. So within the milieu of the so many things that everybody is complaining about in this country, you have to have a little bit of empathy for the Chancellor, that is the Minister of Finance. He has a gigantic job on his hand. And I wouldn't want to aggravate it, but I'll speak a few things that he knows, I believe, are the truth. Ghanaians want jobs. They want life to be made a little bit easy for them. Inflation is very, very, very high. It's very high. Because you go to the market today, you buy something like two CDs, the next day you go there, it's like five CDs. So the inflation level there is, is too high. The government has to do something about it because we are really suffering, we are suffering. Uh, my expectation is that government will spend so that they can stimulate the economy. Out there, there's the feeling that the economy is a bit dull. After the election, obviously, we haven't seen much. We expect that government will not curtail spending, but increase spending so that all aspects of the economy will be stimulated. Once there's expenditure, it tends to be somebody's income. Once somebody has income, he will spend. So the multiplier effect on the economy will be said that money will find space in people's pockets. They should look for a means and way to create the job for the youth. Because if it's not so, by the cost of armed robbery and those things, they'll go up. And then fuel prices too, they have to look at it. The taxes on it, it has to come down. And then more so, full staff and those things, they are rising. The government, they should look at it. They say planting for food and job. They should look at it. They should do it in a, a innovative way so that people will go into agriculture for the for the better because those who are completing invest everybody want a, a white color job and then the white color job to the money that you get <laughs> is something small so i expect them to do something at least about the forward prices if it can be re regulated in a manner that the hikes wouldn't be as drastic as it was because this year started off at around a little over four cities now we are nearing seven cities, which is close to 100% increment just in one year. So that's serious. The first target for the Chancellor or our Finance Minister is to make sure that Ghanaians are assured and seen, not by word, seen practically, to be seizing back the heights of the economy that they once occupied. Be it able or not, there were Ghanaians doing it. Contractors and manufacturers and all of them are shutting down or closing. They can't afford to pay their workers and the unemployment numbers are increasing. We've got armies of them. It is not correct. I heard this morning that there was about 4.6% of the working population are out of job. It's serious economically for a country. How do you create the job? When the jobs have been really overtaken by aliens undocumented. Uh, 2022 budget, okay. No expectation though, because every day government over government have been reading budget, but it doesn't reflect on the ordinary Ghanaian. So as the minister rightly said, the payroll is full up. So we are all trying to become entrepreneurs now. So that's what we are aiming. Right now, this budget that's going to come, we need uh, something that uh, should be reduced because what we are facing is too much. The, I mean, the items we buy to patronage in our business is too costly. So we need everything to be decreased so that our living standard will be very uh, affordable for us. 
anyone who puts a tabletop on the aprons of a drainage in the street is immediately registered and is immediately given a textbook. You have several food joints. I'm not saying they should pay. They are not paying. Let them pay. But tell the Ghanaian taxman who goes to collect it, don't go and eat food and walk away for free. The nation demands that these people must also be taxed and taxed very well. We will get money as well. We need development. Where is the money that is going to go into development? If Ghanaian is cheating the, the system, how does the man, money then get earned for us? I think there should be, they should, the government should allocate more money to skill training so that some of us that we can't get access to government sector work, no, we can involve ourselves in skill training. After that, we combine the, um, the education with the skill training and that's all. I have this friend who fell sick. He had a liver problem and then we sent the person to the hospital. Um, at night, he, he spent the whole night at the hospital. He wasn't attended to. So the next day, and before a doctor came, and by then everything is spoiled. And then it's like we lost him, yeah. So we are not benefiting enough of the facilities. So we need more health. We need more health facilities, more health um, resources, yeah.